What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Now let's get into this one really quickly guys uh, Today was the highly anticipated press conference between Tyson Gypsy King Fury and Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder guys uh, It was held out in LA. Uh, you guys know the fights coming up next month July 24th in Las Vegas, Nevada now, a lot of us thought that there were going to be huge fireworks uh, when these two met face to face for the first time since the last fight. And to be honest, guys, it was uh, totally the opposite. Uh, you know, it wasn't much fireworks between the two at all, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Deontay Wilder, uh, to be honest, he didn't have much to say uh, in this press conference. Uh, he, when he came out, uh, he came out with headphones on when they introduced him up to the podium uh, they had to nudge him for him to come up to the podium because he still had his headphones on and he pretty much just said that uh, he wanted to thank his uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ he thanked his team uh, he thanked his legal team and he said it was off with Tyson Fury's head there's, there's gonna be bloodshed and that was it uh, that was all that he really had to say at the press conference uh, uh, his trainer Malik Scott uh, did most of the talking for him uh, he was going back and forth with uh, Tyson Fury of course uh, Tyson Fury had mentioned something about Wilder reverting back to what he knows uh, he mentioned a quote from Mike Tyson you know everybody has a plan till they get punched in the mouth uh, you guys know Malik Scott's been adding some wrinkles to Deontay Wilder's game uh, besides the right hand you know, they've been working on the combinations, the footwork, the left hooks to the body, the head movement. And uh, like I said, Tyson Fury pretty much said, you know, Wilder's, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. He's going to revert back to what he knows best. And, you know, the right hand, of course. Uh, that, that's possible. You know, that could happen. I, I've seen some fighters do that. Uh, it just depends on your mindset. Uh, I think I've seen episodes of Jared Hurd, you know, when Jared Hurd uh, went back, uh, got a new trainer, and was learning more basic fundamentals. Uh, when he, I can't remember the fight he was in, but he kind of reverted back to his old self inside the fight. Uh, when he was losing a fight, he just went back to what he knew best, uh, brawling. So it could happen, but like I said, it's all in the mindset. Of, you know, while just been working day and night, uh, eating, sleeping, and shit and boxing. Uh, you know, it could it could be a different turnout in this fight. Now, Tyson Fury did say he's going to go up probably 300 pounds this time. You guys saw how big he was in the last fight. Uh, he was laying his big heavy body on Wilder, tying Wilder out, and uh, it made a, a difference in the fight. Uh, his trainer, uh, Sugar Hill Stewart, said that uh, Tyson Fury has uh, one-punch knockout power now. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true or not. But I will say this, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I will say this, uh, in that last fight, Tyson Fury did look a lot stronger. You guys saw him sitting down on his punches more, and they were really hurting Wilder. So, a guy going up to 300 pounds, uh, learning to sit down on his punches more, you know, it could be a long night for Deontay Wilder. But I, I will say this, it could be the same way for Tyson Fury with the new wrinkles added to Wilder's game. Uh, he's coming in more prepared this time. Uh, the hatred between those two is off the charts, guys. Uh, I've I seen it coming more from Deontay Wilder's side than Tyson Fury's side because Deontay Wilder felt he was cheated uh, by Tyson Fury. Uh, Wilder, a lot of people wonder why Wilder didn't have much to say at the press conference. It's probably because of his relationship with the media. Uh, he thinks the media has wronged him uh, in the past uh, he feels that a lot of guys in the media have told lies on him so he didn't really want to say anything and he was pretty quiet most of the time uh, they never did bring up the glove gate stuff I was kind of surprised that that wasn't br brought up uh, even though that was the thing that made this uh, so personal uh, between the two but th th that wasn't brought up at all the uh, stare off between the two at the end was pretty intense. Uh, I gotta say that they were there for a long time. 
just staring at each other, staring holes through each other, and they wouldn't leave. Uh, security came up there, uh, was trying to stop it, but you know, it, it went on for a while until Wilder turned around and walked away. So, but that's the way the press conference went today, guys. Uh, uh, you can just tell uh, this is going to be a hell of a fight uh, coming this July, guys. It's probably going to be one of the biggest fights of the year uh, just because of the backstory, all the stuff that's going on. Uh, who's going to win this fight? Who knows? Whoever wants it the most uh, is going to win this fight. You know, they both got, you know, different. Well, I would say this Tyson Fury is probably going to come in with the same game plan uh, to walk Wilder down. Wilder's coming in with a, a bunch of new uh, wrinkles to his game. So I think that will make a difference in the fight. Tyson Fury says he's going to get Wilder out there quicker than seven rounds this time. So we're just going to have to wait and see, guys. Uh, you know, July is right around the corner. So uh, tell me what you guys think about the press conference today. Uh, do you think uh, Wilder should have said something about the Glovegate stuff? Do you think he should have been more vocal? Or were you satisfied with him uh, going radio silence with the media today? Uh, let me know in the comment section, guys. It's to see him. Be I'll talk to you guys in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.